Yo, what's going on YouTube? Tom here with another video again. Uh, haven't posted in about a week. Been kind of busy. So, yeah. Uh, I had five jobs last week and did FedEx all week. Uh, Saturday was my day off from uh, FedEx. And two jobs came in. Yeah, two jobs came in. So, I went and knocked them out really quick. Uh, made 400 bucks. Uh, one of them was a buddy of mine, so I gave him a little break, which is okay. What goes around comes around. Um, yeah, so, and I just got back from a job. Um, my guy Robert and I, we went out. It was a uh, treadmill, an elliptical, a grill, and a bicycle. So I charged the dude 275 took like 10 minutes plus to drive there and back. And um, I parked the trailer at one of my business locations and this, called the scrap guy so he's going to come and uh, pick it up. No dump fee. Uh, you can save it if you have room to store uh, scrap metal. You can save it and get a bunch of it and then uh, just leave it aside and then fill up your trailer. Uh, you can make some decent side, side money, you know. Uh, it's pretty good. But I personally don't like going there very dirty our landfill is fortunately very nice and clean compared to some of the other ones i've seen online uh but the scrap yard's not there's a bunch of nails and stuff everywhere i did find a pretty nice size chunk pretty nice size uh nail and in, in the tire and it was sticking out a little bit it didn't seem like a punctured it but i'm gonna take it to the shop and have the guy pull that one and another nail and patch them up um just in case so yeah guys i did uh we did our first hot tub on damn i can't even keep up anymore i don't even know what day of the week it is every day just fucking out there hustling getting uh i think it was wednesday we did our first hot tub uh two lessons learned come prepared uh which i did but i didn't know that uh the sawzall like that i got for free at a, one of the my first or second jobs one of them um uh, yeah it was fucked up so we had a hell of a time messing with it and getting the hot tub out but hey it was fun uh charged the customer 350 and i used one blade so it took us two hours and we've never done one before so there's a bunch of hoses and stuff so we had a hard time dealing with that and cutting them uh if you ever do one make sure you have a sharp uh, utility knife i think that's what they're called now yeah utility knife um or raise something like that or scissors to cut all the hoses underneath the hot tub but uh i just wanted to give a props to all the other youtubers that actually filmed their jobs or their work uh, i would love to do it but when the customer is there a lot of them just want to talk to you they want to uh, some of them some of them don't they just go back and like you know doing back to their business but a lot of the customers they want to talk to you they want to have a conversation a lot of people are unfortunately lonely these days because everyone's on their phone so they sorry just had a call come in um yeah what i was saying is like some people mind their own business and uh, others want to have a conversation uh with you because with technology everyone is spending more and more time behind uh, devices and uh it's kind of sad but there's less and less human interaction so people old school people that's uh, that's why i love older people you know i spend a lot of time on my phone but it's i'm not on fucking facebook you know looking at memes and stuff i try to be productive on there i'm constantly learning shit um if i don't know how to do something i'll hop on youtube you know and learn um anyways so yeah uh respect to um all the youtubers that filmed their work uh yeah youtube itself i can see how it can quickly become like a full-time job and you have to treat it as a business as well if you're doing it you know if you're making videos if you're putting time in it i personally don't want to mess with editing right now uh i just like doing this type of video and if it helps people out just listening to a guy ramble that's doing the same shit they want to do in life that's cool too um but yeah um, I've gotten a few uh, questions in the comments. Uh, people asking me where I generate most of my leads from. Um, I have Facebook. I don't have much luck on there. Just a bunch of cheap clients in my local area. For some guys, it works great. Uh, 
it all depends. I, I guess every spot is different. Uh, Chris, shout out to you. He's been getting jobs from uh, Craigslist and Facebook. Um, yeah, but for me personally, it's uh, number one is Google Ads, of course, uh, pay-per-click. It's expensive, but it's a pay-to-play kind of thing, you know. Uh, you'll definitely get leads and close the jobs. Today I got six clicks, spent 40 bucks. I closed two of those jobs for roughly around $600. Um, but you never know, I had a lady, oh, my second method is uh, yard signs, love yard signs. I made over $2,000 now with one yard sign. Uh, did the job for that lady. She referred me to her friend, I went and did that job. And then that same lady called me back. She had more stuff, so I did that job. Now she's referring me to her husband. I'm gonna do, or her ex-husband, sorry. I'm gonna do all of um, his work, you know, and he's gonna refer you. So if you do good work, um, then you bust your ass, you know. Yeah, people will refer you, trust me. I've been getting a lot of five-star reviews and it's uh, awesome. It's kinda nice to uh, feel appreciated, I guess you could say, when you go to work and you work for your boss. I mean, yeah, you might get a bonus once in a while or like, hey, but you, you don't really get like, uh, appreciation you know uh, with customers you're actually helping them out and you're doing them a favor yeah they're paying you for it and good money too uh, some people think it's like highway robbery I work so fast because I'm a FedEx so I'm go 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 all day sometimes I'll get to a job I'll take a before picture and we're in and out so fast I forget to take an after picture <laughs> um, but yeah the customers are like whoa you were here five minutes you know and you're charging me 275 I'm like yes sir you know um, yeah, Junker Mill was awesome, guys. If you're thinking about getting into it, I highly recommend it. Uh, very lucrative business if you do it right. Uh, yeah, that being said, that's all I have for you. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below. Hit that like button. Highly appreciate it. And uh, if you want to follow my journey, subscribe. If not, it's cool. Um, just trying to help people out. So until next time, guys, peace.